Why, hello, YouTube! Greetings from the Lazy Eyebrow Reviewer. And in that last review, I discovered that I need to make a new 1080p intro. Because, man, these look awful now compared to the review footage. So, today to kick off Review 49, we'll be reviewing iGear's Patrol Specialist. The cheaper, less accessories, not iron hide from iGear, that features a brand new head sculpt. And who is it? I don't even know. Isn't that great? From what I hear, this is supposed to be Patrol or someone which would make sense for it to be a patrol specialist wouldn't it so wheel jack can we take the box away and have a peek inside so patrol specialist comes in a form-fitting bubble shell but the only major difference here is that there isn't any additional trays of accessories which now that i see what i'm missing i'm kind of bummed out about it but the figure's still great so i can live the accessories he does come with however include three additional heads an instructional sheet a collector's stat card and a fold-up gun and a front bush bar for van mode the heads that come with this set include two comic book inspired heads, one normal, one angry, a standard G1 head, and one head we'll get to in a minute. But can you guess which one is my favorite? So let's bring on patrol, and already I can say, wow. This is Ironhide. The Ironhide we've been all waiting for. The Ironhide that we never got. The Ironhide that makes up for the lame excuse of a vehicle that Hasbro cranked out a few years ago. An updated Datsun Cherry Vanette with a yellow stripe. The Ironhide that fits in with your Classics line, unless you're these Classics lines. For this comparison, here's Classics Nemesis Prime, the knockoff version, and Generations Hoist, neither of which seem to scale correctly. Prime and Hoist I find way too small and just don't seem to hit the size mark I want. I mean, I find MP10 here to be the perfect size for the Classics lines, which, if you remember back to my MP12 review, Sideswipe was just about the same size as Classics Red Alert here. I don't have a Masterpiece line out right now, but I might do a size comparison in a later video. The two primes then definitely don't scale up well, and this is why the Classics Prime mold has never really interested me all that much. Funnily enough, I have three of them. But we're talking about not Ironhide here. Not Prime. Ha, <laughs> not Ironhide, not Prime. So let's get back on track. So I've also applied the Rapper Labels Not Ironhide kit to this figure. Not all the stickers, but most of them. On the front, we see the Datsun Cherry Vanette logo. These are white letters over a clear background, so they fit in quite well in this figure. Also on the side is the Vanette SGL and the sunroof feature displayed ever so out of focus. And holding true to that sunroof feature is the actual sunroof detailed in a nice black, and my favorite part, the back. This is where we see the license plate, the window sticker, and the bumper sticker, all of which just gives not Ironhide just that little extra oomph of personality. And on the front we have the option of removing the bush bar, which I always do just to give it that Ironhide-y feel. So, quite honestly, I am super impressed by this set, just for vehicle mode alone. But there is a whole other mode to this guy, so let's get to that. Open these back flaps and separate the two back sections in half. Fold the vehicle in half. Open these bumper panels and rotate out the feet. Take these top sections of roof and slide them into the back of what will become the legs. At the back of the leg, peg in the door to the back of the leg and collapse the roof panel over top of it to clean up the leg and give it more of a polished look. And now we have the legs done. On to the torso. Unpeg and move the roof section out of the way. Then unclip and move the doors out of the way. Open the arm sections and swing the door panels around, then flip up the head, then pick the roof section into the back of the neck. After that, bring the arms down beside him. Next, spin the windshield section around, and you're done. And here we have Patrol! Thought I'd try something new. Up in the head section, we can see what Repro Labels adds to this set. Black shoulders and a black neck area, which I think gives it a more G1 feel, and I like that. As for the Patrol head... It's a nice head, but not quite for me. So let's replace it with the head I favor. If you guess the G1 head, then congratulations! You win today's prize! Tell them what they won, Mr. Announcer! That's right, folks. For all those that guessed correctly, the Lazy Eyebrow Reviewer is proud to present you with $1 million worth of oxygen! Woo! Back to you, Lazy. Quite honestly, I think with the G1 head, he looks like the best iron hide to ever grease the eyes of Transformers fans everywhere. The comic book heads are nice, but they don't do it for me quite like the G1 head does. As for his other accessory, his fold-up gun works on the 5mm peg system and just pops right in his hand. And well, now look at him. Is this not the best thing that has ever come out of eye gear? Seriously, I spent 100 bucks on this guy, and I honestly think he is worth every single dollar. This is Ironhide. The one we all, well, not me, grew up watching on TV. And I have to give the biggest props to iGear for making and selling this figure. He is so sweet. So, like I said, his hands are the 5mm peg system, which means he can hold other accessories like Wheeljack's wrench. 
Other features include a flip-up wrist communicator, which with a rep label set adds a picture of Optimus Prime to the screen, which looks phenomenally amazing. There are other options too, but I like Prime the best. Or the other side, which features a radar dish, and it also comes with a 3mm clip system for the addition of extra accessories. The weapon specialist came with all sorts of goodies that clipped onto here, but for now, Wheeljack Shoulder Cannon will have to do. Additional rep labels that go on here is an Autobot symbol, boldly placed on his chest where no sticker has gone before, and the back bumper stickers are still visible, which I think looks awesome. Articulation includes a ball-jointed head, 360 degrees civil shoulders, swiveling biceps, a double-jointed elbow allowing for 120 degrees of bend, opening communicator, and 360 degree hands. 360 degree waist rotation, a universal joint on the hip gives good forward, back, and out motion, 360 degree thigh swivel, and a rather good knee bend. All this can make for some pretty awesome poses. Ironhide, no parties with you and your old war buddies while I'm gone. But no buts. Last time you and Hound had a party, we couldn't find Bumblebee for weeks, and Hot Rod sat cuddled in a corner, crying for two days. Now, as funny as that was, we have to pretend we liked them on our team. So, can I count on you to keep things under control while I go with finer things in life, such as golf with Megatron and Devastator? Me? That's on a prime. Excellent. That's what I like to hear. Prime out. Hound, bust out the alcohol. Trailbreaker, why the heck are you so ta- Wait. Wheeljack? Yeah, Wheeljack. Hoist and I were guinea pigs for his all-new Hasbro 2013 cost cutter, Ray. For size comparison, the really tiny trail breaker, who someone really needs to make a third-party version of, or at least a KO bigger version of, because dang, he's tiny. Wheeljack, Sideswipe, Hound, Classic Prime, who again is stupid small, and MP10, who I think scales just about right. So that's it for iGear's Patrol Specialist, aka not Ironhide. Review number 50 is coming up, who is mostly filmed, I just need a few more supplies before I finish that off, and if you've been following my updates, you should all know who that is, dot 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 dot, oh I wrote that, I was supposed to say that. This has been the Lazy Eyebrow Reviewer, 